Actor Vin Diesel is no stranger to returning to former roles that he found success with, and now, according to an Instagram post he put up, he's getting ready to do it again. As first reported on Collider.com, Diesel has announced that he is returning to the roles of Xander Cage for Triple X3, which will begin production in December in the Philippines. Diesel did not appear in Triple X2, State of the Union, in which Ice Cube took on the lead role, also claiming that Diesel's character Cage had been killed in action. Jeanette Byrus saw Vin Diesel bringing us triple x3 i buy this i love the first triple x and the second triple x was a gigantic box office bomb and nobody went to see it i didn't see it so i feel sorry for ice cube but it doesn't matter because he's worth like 1.400 million dollars <laughs> or something he's got you know doesn't have to worry about any of these triple x movies but i think you know they should in this triple x3 they should announce that ice cube's character is dead like right at the beginning <laughs> vin diesel's reading his paper it's like oh that's too bad about that guy jumps off the eiffel tower or something i totally buy this i can't wait to see vin diesel do this character again i'm gonna buy it i did not love the first triple x but it certainly had it has things going for it a lot that a vin diesel today going back to a movie like that and it'll be really interesting to see him do this type of a movie without the ensemble cast around him like he has in, in, in Furious 7. And that's going to be one of the big distinctions between what Fast and Furious franchise is and what this Triple X franchise is. Because you'd be forgiven if you think, man, there's an awful lot of similarities to what's going on here, but that would be fine. Triple X State of the Union. I remember walking into Triple X State of the Union and saying, wait a minute, now the we have a pudgy big action hero? <laughs> I, I, I remember, I know. And Ice Cube is, looks great these days. He totally looks great. These, and I like Ice Cube, but that was... That was a bad decision for Ice Cube himself, and that was a bad decision for the studio. Bad decision for Rob Cohen, the director. Oh, it yeah. A bad it was decision. just a whole <laughs> lot of bad stuff in that. Although, I, I I, mean, I'm sure there were a lot of jokes about this before, but we were in our pre-production meeting today, and Ashley goes, you know, because Ashley researches all the stories before we do something. She goes, I went to research Triple X. That was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Not even 11 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like, there we go. Anyway, so, but I am going to give it a buy. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. And look, first of all, John, Ice Cube, as a former fat kid, Ice Cube is not pudgy. He's husky. There's a huge <laughs> difference there. This is a buy for me, and I'm not thrilled about it. These puppy dog eyes have actually never witnessed Triple X, either one of them, but I get that it's one of Vin Diesel, or he he made that franchise, and then he wasn't a part of the second one because much like the Fast and Furious franchise, he wanted to go off and do other things, and those other things maybe didn't pan out exactly the way he wanted to. I would much rather see him focus on Riddick than I would Triple X. X if I had the choice between those two, but this isn't like a Tom Cruise and Jack Reacher 2 situation where I'd rather see original content from this person because Vin Diesel, he's a good actor, but his, his range is in action films squarely. He's not going to go win an Oscar doing some political thriller in my estimation, so this is a smart move for him, and I think it's going to make a lot of money. I think it's the right time. They're going to market it well. Triple X 3 is going to make a lot of money. Yeah, for a lot of people, though, if you, if you want to see a different side to Vin Diesel, there's this little movie that he did that a lot of you guys haven't seen it's called Find Me Guilty. Um, check that out. He's actually really quite impressive in it. Um, and uh, you might be surprised by a whole different level of Vin Diesel.